telling you right now, everything that you're doing in your life at this moment is leading you to a result. So I need you to take one second, two seconds, three seconds, a minute, a day, and figure out what did I do this past 24 hours? And is it leading me to success or is it leading me to perceived failure? Because you're gonna get something out of everything that you do. And whether it's good or whether it's perceived as bad, you have to own it. That's the bad news. The good news is just like the guy I was talking to, once he go sit, sit down, he can get out and try again and let his actions lead him to the desired result. But you gotta first and foremost own it. Stop renting your problems. Stop renting what you're doing because that's not gonna change. Life does not care. See, everything that you're doing now is leading you to where you're going later. So if you see someone that's achieving the success that you wanna achieve, you might want to hit them up, you might want to get in the DM, you might want to give them a call, you might want to give them a text and ask them, what are you doing on a daily basis that puts you in this position to achieve the success that you are currently achieving? And I promise you, they will have some stories. They will have some stories of failures. They will have some stories of setbacks. They will have some stories that might blow your mind because we all have to go through our go through. And hopefully, we're trying to grow through to get where we're trying to go to. But it all starts with having that one-on-one -on -one conversation with yourself and owning whatever it is that you're doing. Not trying. When I say renting, I mean you're blaming everybody else. You're making excuses. This is where the buck stops. No more excuses. If you say you want to go to another level, if you say you want to be great, if you say you want to achieve success and you're not achieving it right now, then guess what? You're doing something wrong. You need to change something. And the bad news is, you are where you are because of your actions. The good news is, if you're still breathing, you still have an opportunity to be achieving. So you can pick yourself up. And just like the guy I was talking to that's sitting in jail right now, when he gets out, right now, if I was in there, I would be strategizing. I'll be goal planning, goal setting, and coming up with a plan that's much different than the plan I had before I got in there. Because he executed a game plan. And the results were really not the results he wanted, but the results were what he worked hard to achieve. And I'm telling you right now, if you set up, come up with your game plan right now. Get your pad and paper. Make a decision. What is it that I want to do? Where is it that I want to go? Who is it that I want to be? And be real with yourself. Write down what you're doing now and ask yourself, I want you to project. I always talk about visual visualization and see yourself one year from now, two years from now, based on what you're doing. If you don't like it, revise, strategize. Be okay with the failures that may come. Be okay with the setbacks that may come. But then once they come, just learn from it, grow from it. But above all else, own it, own your actions, because wherever you are in life, pat yourself on the back, because you got yourself there. And it can change in the blink of an eye, because guess what? You're an unbreakable force. And when you make the right decisions, the right choices, that leads you to your ultimate goal, you put yourself in a position 